twice the rate of academic progress as their non-dyslexic counterparts. 12-year-old Olivia Smith goes to a Bristol Comprehensive where her favourite class is English. Perhaps not surprising since she now has a reading age of 14, but she didn't always find school fun. When I was in reception I was called a lazy child and then when I gradually came up to year two I didn't make any progress from year reception then. And then I kind of had a teacher that started to think she should be pr progressing. For the last six years, Olivia's been having extra lessons at the Bristol Dyslexia Centre, where she uses a computer programme called Nessie. You can either choose an easy or a hard, and if you choose an easy, it's just a spelling. But if you choose a hard, it's a sentence. A large badger is under the hedge. My reading was appalling when I was a little girl, but now... I've increased it and every time we have a spelling test in school, all my friends go, can you do my spellings? And I go, I can. And they go, Olivia, spellings, really quickly. And I'm like, I can't because I've got to do my own work. Right, this one's got the software, spellings. based on the teaching of phonics, was designed by Michael Jones, who overcame his own dyslexia to become a teacher. But he and his mum still remember how he hated going to school. Well, there was the thermometer in the porridge story <laughs> to try and make, <laughs> make mum realise I had a temperature, uh, that I'd, I'd always be pretending I had some illness or making up some excuse not to go to school. Yes, he was naughty. <laughs> so far, the programme's been piloted in Jersey and Somerset. It's early days, but we've definitely seen improvements, particularly children with, uh, with uh, dyslexia. But we've also seen children within the mainstream have shown an improvement as well. Getting the right help is the first step to boosting confidence and improving concentration in dyslexic pupils. And while provision of specialist teaching is still patchy, every school now has its own special educational needs coordinator. So should they all be using Nessie? I think Nessie is a multi-sensory teaching package that is going to be excellent for dyslexic pupils, but it's not going to be in the absence of us needing more training for our teachers. Not hard, given that the teacher training course includes just a few hours on helping students like Olivia. Liz Wallace, BBC News. Well, that brings us almost to the end of breakfast, so it's goodbye from uh, Simon and myself.